Chess is a game of unlimited beauty, but it's not just checks and attacks. You have to be creative. Uh, at a school in New York where they implemented a school-wide chess program. And two years later, they reported a 60% drop in their suspension rate. Chess teaches you to think before you move. And in life, that translates into thinking before you act. Age doesn't matter. Gender doesn't matter. Religion doesn't matter. Race doesn't matter. Socioeconomic background doesn't matter. When I was 17, I played... Inuwi ng isang siyam na taong gulang na bata mula Albay ang ginto sa isang chess tournament sa Thailand itong weekend. Ang batang chess master, muntikan pa raw hindi makalaban dahil sa kakulangan sa budget. Nasa frontline ng balitang yan si Ian Suyu. Pinabilib ng siyam na taong gulang na si Vince Rafael Operiano ang lahat matapos magwagi sa ikaanim na East Asia Youth Chess Championship sa Bangkok, Thailand. Padpatay lang si Operiano at kinailangang humingi ng tulong pinansyal online ng kanyang pamilya para mabayaran ang 58,000 na registration fee at ticket para sa torneo. At dahil sa kakulangan ng budget, kinailangang mauna ni Vince nang wala ang kanyang amang si Ben habang hinihintay ang plane ticket na sponsored ng Philippine Sports Commission. The National Chess Federation of the Philippines NCFP, is accused of being more focused on profit and politics rather than supporting the players and promoting the sport. Many talented Filipino chess players have left the country to play for other countries due to a lack of support and opportunities in the Philippines. We have bitterly accepted losing Wesley so since his sudden but predetermined transfer to the United States Chess Federation in 2013. Another head-scratching moment that best captures the sorry state that Philippine sports is in. Still. We are genuinely happy about his huge and numerous international achievements in chess for the country. We have to move on and focus more on our reality. Acknowledging our current fate is a hard small pill to swallow. We have nothing to prove valuable on the table today. Let's eat whatever is served on our plates and be done with it. We are being stepped on like cockroaches in chess nowadays against other countries. There are 2,043 chess grandmasters in the world today. 1,288 are actively playing alive, and male. Our highest rated player in the country had a rating of 2,554, currently ranked 359 out of 288, just close enough to equal the number of days in a year. Coincidentally, a good ridicule. There has never been a better teacher than bad experiences and frustrated expectations. Now is the time to grow up. Chess is the only athletics event where cheering is not allowed. It could be a long staring match or a marathon of pissing contests. No, not that kind of pissing that you are expecting. Chess is simply a plain old boring game. Trivial matters always put us in amazement. Using numbers, data and information brings chess to a more interesting stance. To the mind of an experienced player, chess is a thrilling competitive game where the thought process runs at the speed of light. A far cry comparison against a chess engine's brute force attack after the first five moves with about 70 trillion unique chess positions and above 8.7 billion ways to checkmate. A little shy of the latest statistic of the world population of 8 billion, 45 million, 311,447. Chess is a comparative display of a country's strength. It is a measure of intelligence and superiority among strong adversary. Chess is the art of war. The game of life and death. Those who play well are revered because chess excellence cannot be purchased. It can only be earned. Chess was originally played by the royalties in its early years. In a third world country like the Philippines, chess is a poor man's game where that is well played by Filipinos, most of whom belong the lower class income families. A change in approach and strategy may be necessary to improve the state of chess in the country. Either we create a new and improved chess federation or keep on tolerating the arrogance and injustices of NCFP's acts of impunity. Do not steal a candle to read the Bible. It means, if the intentions are good, but the process is corrupt, it will always be corrupt. No matter how good you are, if you are in the wrong place and are surrounded by the wrong people, you are, and always will be, worthless. Chess is more than a game. It is a reflection of time and life itself. Chess is the story of us. 
Chess is a reflection of us. The International or World Chess Federation is commonly referred to by its French acronym, FIDE, or Fédération Internationale des Echecs. Created in Paris, France, on July 20, 1924, with headquarters in Lausanne, Switzerland. Its motto is Gens Una Sumus, Latin for, We Are One Family. In the 1900s leading masters were Emmanuel Lasker, Raoul Capablanca, Alexander Alekhine, and Max Yu. Chess was already well known in Europe and America's having a head start of two centuries. Philippines chess in its infancy, boomed and began its journey, after World War II. Later gained in popularity when the United States granted us our independence on July 4, 1946. Russia dominated chess for 56 years. A winning streak of World Chess Championships started by Mikhail Botvinnik in 1948 and ended with Vladimir Kromnik in 2007. In 1956, the Philippines officially joined FIDE. In 1957, Rodolfo Tan Cardozo became Asia's first international master. In 1971, the ELO rating system was introduced officially to FIDE, through the endorsement of the USCF. At the height of the Cold War era in 1972, the World Chess Championship in Reykjavik, Iceland. The tournament became a weapon of an arms race against the two countries with the most numbers of nuclear stockpiles. The reigning champion of the USSR, Boris Spassky, against the challenger Bobby Fischer of the United States, an arrogant chess genius, who brilliantly won the world chess title, creating a gap for three years to Russian supremacy as world champions. Fischer held the crown, but never returned to the next WCC match to defend his world title, or his sanity for that matter. In 1974, 22-year-old Eugene Torre became Asia's first chess grandmaster. Two years later in 1976, an upset to an all-Soviet and Russian chess stronghold, the Odessa tournament. Won by Rosendo Bolinas Jr. earned his title as the country's second grandmaster. From 1982 to 1995, a two-time Philippine chess champion, Florencio Campomanes was FIDE president for 13 years. In 1999, FIDE was recognized by the International Olympic Committee. In March 2017, Wesley So was ranked by FIDE as the world's number two, under the banner of the USCF. Making him the fifth highest rated player in history with a 2822 ELO rating. As of May 2022, the Philippines is one of the 200 member federations recognized by FIDE. Qualified Filipino citizens will represent and play individually or as a team, in FIDE International Championships, and carry the country's federation name, the NCFP. Representative players are only allowed to play and compete with other countries as long as it is permitted and acknowledged by their federation. Chess is the most popular and most detailed game theory that needs pure talent and skill to win. The only game where we, Filipinos, have equal chances to win against other countries regardless of advantage of height, race, and body physique. Even today, chess is sidelined by the three most popular sports. Basketball, billiards, and boxing. Boosted by the achievements of Efren Bata Reyes and Manny Pacquiao, along with our most popular entertainment, cockfighting. Can we bring back our glory days in chess? Yes, we can. Though it is easier said than done, it's a long lonely way and it is a big mountain that we have to climb to achieve it. Yet, first, we have to surpass all the hurdles one step at a time and address the current problems. Contemporary State of the Nation's Chess we have a lot of chess talent and prodigies. We have earned a lot of trophies and medals from the Chess Olympiads and FIDE Asian Continental as champions among others. Getting to the root of the problem felt like a chess puzzle in itself. It's different today. How can our players focus on winning in chess when they do not have peace of mind? If we want to excel in the world, we must fully support the basic needs of our brilliant players. They can handle the psychology of the game, but it does not matter when their confidence is held tightly in thin air. Our top-rated players are just cannon fodders in playing FIDE World Championships, especially those participating in the Biennial Chess Olympiad, which is compulsory for all member federations. A half-baked and half-cooked pre-arranged lineup of the national chess team favoring alumni of Far Eastern University, where GM Gonzalez was also the head coach since 2011. Our chess spirit is preoccupied with a politics-infested federation, doing insurmountable things for a long time, along with corrupt practices and mismanagement at the national level, 
the NCFP has been delinquent for 12 years. The solution to the problem. Fixing the main problem, our chess federation. We are in stalemate on what could be the consensus of all to improve our status in chess as a sport. The problem with NCFP is that they cannot understand the needs of top-rated chess players. Their agendas supersede the players' needs. If given the chance to provide proper advice or a solution to the problem, what would be the next best thing to do? A change of NCFP personnel or a boycott of NCFP tournaments? Believe me, we tried it all. The most effective is to create a parallel chess federation to face NCFP. Then let PSC, POC, and FIDE choose and recognize which is better federation to handle the current national chess athletes and its chess programs. A recent FIDE General Assembly decision on December 17, 2023 permanently expelled the current Bulgaria Chess Federation 1928 and it replaced it with the newly approved Bulgaria Sports Chess Federation as a new member federation. The reasons are corrupt practices by the former. Could NCFV be the next Bulgaria? Last hope. A political action needs a political move and we also need another politician to hear our side of the story. Will the Philippine Congress and Senate assist us with a tax solution to the predicament of Philippine chess players? We have to adapt to a more diverse solution to the problem. Conflicts and disagreements are not a bad thing per se. Our values, norms, and ideals are always evolving. Whatever we think is normal today will not be normal in the future. Our inability to accept change to accept that everything is permanent apparently is a large sum of our suffering because we refuse to accept change. We cling to the illusions of permanence. We tell ourselves about the fleeting forms of the world when in fact we lack unity as a country and as a federation. We need cohesion, the act or state of sticking together tightly. We already know that no one is trained for second place. Pure talent alone cannot win championships. It needs daily maintenance of further practice, research for improvement, continuing education, habitual competitiveness, teamwork, extensive logistical support, proper management, and adequate funding. The people in the government should provide a progressively increasing extent of upright financial incentives honorable recognition for their capabilities and undying dedication to the sport by our proud Filipino athletes. What our stupid brains did not realize is that we, all Filipino chess players, parents and coaches are all on the same team. Remember, we are all in this together. We need to adjust to being able to deal with change. If we do not change for our improvement, we might be better off being the losers we are known today. Worst, to be a useless part of humanity, sticking on a wet rock, and spreading irrelevant things to the known observable universe that does not think about us. Conclusion Knowing all of this, how do you feel right now? Disappointed but not surprised. There is no need to sugarcoat things if you are struggling, failing bad news, or in a difficult situation. Having the right choice can become wrong as time changes. That is because righteousness is relative, but the truth is absolute. What we all need is the truth. And to make, along with the ability to understand the truth, and to make choices where no one gets hurt. I believe that it's the path that leads to true happiness. If someone asks, why would someone make this kind of video documentary? Because if I don't, nobody will. To an ordinary stomach upset, letting the bad gas out is a healthy way of life. 
There is no such thing as a bad fart. Like dark thoughts, if left unsaid, will create more chaos in my already traffic congested mind. Yet even with a problem burdened life, with a heavy heart of anguish and longing, I had gained courage in time to let this all out, throwing all the bad cards into the unnecessary excess baggage and telling the hurtful realities of chess in the country as a single voice. Eventually externalizing it to a documentary film had ultimately achieved my version of peace of mind. It's hard to say for sure whether the Philippines will ever produce a world-renowned chess player again. While there have been some setbacks and challenges in recent years, it's possible that with the right support, resources, and talent development, the country could see a resurgence in the chess world. Only time will tell. Finally, provocative words from a two-time Olympic chess champion from Hungary, Grandmaster Geza Maroksi said, There is no will to win. If we get used to the comfort of easy conciliation, there is no progress, no validation. Hoping this message will not fall on deaf ears. Thank you for watching. Bangon Chess Filipinas! Bangon Chess Filipinas! Bangon Chess Filipinas! Hello mga ka-chess players! Integridad ang kailangan natin sa pagundan. Bangon Chess Filipinas! From Coronado City, Bangon Chess Filipinas. Or rather, rise from the grave. Chess Filipinas. The film is dedicated to all Filipino chess players, especially the young ones, who all have the potential to be chess grandmaster, and to those who genuinely love the sport. Thank you to all of my dear friends who helped me finish this video. If you want to make more of these videos, support me by following me, clicking the like button, and sharing the video with your friends who like chess. Again, a big thank you to you.